Hey everybody, it's Ian the off Guilter Crafter. I hope you're having a great day today. I can't believe it's already time to start thinking about Halloween. We are here in September and it is, it's just around the corner. I mean, Disney World and Disneyland have already had several of their Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween parties. Wish I could be back there already, but we've got a lot of great content, or at least I have a lot of great content coming up for you here the rest of September and into October. I'm always a little behind the curve because there's already been Halloween craft videos out for weeks, but I wanted to go ahead and dive right in to my Halloween series of cards and crafts. So this year, we're kicking things off with a kind of non-traditional Halloween card. Now I use my foil quill for this one and I really wanted something that was, I wouldn't say like higher class or something more classy, but like something different and something foiled. So I saw, I got a little inspiration from the Lawn Fawn YouTube channel when I saw that they use some peacock feathers and then they put in black soot on top of that to make their kind of spooky sky and I really wanted to play off of that because it looks really really cool. So I used some um, peacock feathers and some blueprint sketch and kind of threw that together and I really think I'm going to keep running with this color combination for Halloween cards because it makes such an eerie spooky glow and I love it. Let's go ahead and check out how I put this card together. To get started today, I'm using a piece of Bristol paper. It is cut to five inches by seven inches, so five inches by seven inches. And I'm gonna use three Distress Oxides, well, two Distress Oxides and one Distress Ink because I don't have black soot in Oxide yet. I need to remedy that, but anyways. Uh, I'm gonna use Peacock Feathers, Blueprint, Scre <laughs> Blueprint Sketch in Distress Oxides, and then uh, in Distress Inks, I'm gonna use uh, some black soot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with my peacock feathers and I want, this isn't always easy for me and I don't know why, but I'm gonna start off in the center of, uh, of my design here because I want a nice like gradient heading out from the center. So I'm gonna try and do like a light hand, which for me is not very easy apparently. But I'm gonna try and just work my way out from the center of this piece of Bristol paper because I want it to radiate out from the center. probably saw me using some of the purple tape. I did that because uh, it was starting to get all over my fingers and I was actually removing some of the ink. So I wanted to um, protect my hand and protect the panel. So I went ahead and uh, tried to do that by using some of the purple tape since I'm out of my post-it note tape right now. Um, and as you can see, I'm adding some sprinkles of water and drips of water to um, just give it a little more texture and a little more pizzazz, because you know, that's all, there, all the rage right now is to do this water drop technique. So I'm gonna now let it sit for just a second and whenever I put the paper towel on top, I'll remove some of the ink and distress inks and distress oxides and all that kind of stuff and it should, yeah, leave me with a really cool looking background. Okay, now that I've gotten everything uh, dried and it's ready to go, let's go ahead and do some design work in Cricut Design Space because I'm gonna be using my foil quill to do some of the quilling or foiling or whatever way you wanna call it. Anyways.
For today's adventure, I'm going to use the medium tip quill. So I'm going to remove my Cricut adapter, um, not from Cricut, but this is the adapter that you use for Cricut machines. I'm going to hook that around my mid middle sized um, foil quill for that, the middle tip size. And I'm going to be using some goiled, gold foil today. I tried to combine gold and foil. Using some gold, wow, I can't talk today. Some gold foil to do my foiling with today. So let's go ahead and uh, get the tip warmed up and ready to go. And we'll get the Cricut mat also set up to go. All right, I have my paper pushed onto my mat. I now need to use snap mat feature from the Cricut Design Space app to get my image to line up the way I want it to. And then I'll gold foil it, put the gold foil over it. Um, so that way it is ready to get all the wonderful goodness that's gonna go onto it. Okay, I've gotten everything set up on my iPad. I've gotten everything taped in onto my mat. Uh, I know when I pull this up, there's still gonna be some gold foil left over uh, because it sticks to the mats very easily. Not a big deal. Um, I can clean that up later. So let's go ahead and pop this into my Cricut Air 2 and get this heated and, well, not heated, but let's get the foil tip going on this, on this uh, piece of foil. As many of you know, this is my favorite part of doing the foil quill because you never quite know exactly what you're going to get whenever you um, start the process. It should be just fine, but it's always a little nerve wracking as you start peeling away the tape, like what's going to be revealed underneath. Hopefully everything is going to be amazing and it's going to be great. All right, guys, it is the moment of truth. Let's see what happened. Oh, man. Wow, this looks so awesome. I'm so pleased with how this came out. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty sweet right there. Let me peel this off. This poor little mat is needing some attention and I'll try to get to that at some point. But man, oh man, look how cool this looks. I freaking love that. Let's zoom you in. All right, there it is right there. Oh, wow. Just absolutely stunning i am in love with this foil quill for sure now you'll notice i went around the edges here with the um, outline that's because that's the place that i'm going to end up cutting off the edges of my card so that way it'll fit onto a standard a2 size card base okay i'm going to go ahead and use my paper trimmer to trim all this up uh, again i'm going to line it up uh, right up against the edge of those gold lines uh, and even if it like ends up being on the card that is okay with me um, it adds a little bit of extra kind of pop to the borders all right it's time to assemble everything I have a piece of 110 pound Nina solar white classic crests 100 pound wait 110 pound card sock I think I said that anyways uh, this is what I always use for card bases and I think this is no exception for that uh, I am going to apply some extreme Tumbo Extreme adhesive to my card base because um, I really want to make sure that this stays in place and it does have a little bit of heft to it like the um, Bristol paper has a little heft to it and so I really want to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere whenever I put it onto my card base and did I run out of adhesive please say no no I didn't okay this Tombow is giving me some headaches sometimes. Anyways, all right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just stand up these cards, the card panel, and then the card base right next to each other, and just try to align this as best as I can. Oop, don't do that, not yet, not yet, okay. Sometimes this can be like the hardest part of putting a whole card together, is just getting it aligned. And I never do it perfectly, but I at least want to get it on there somewhat. All right, guys, here is today's kind of non-traditional Halloween card. It is a very kind of like witchy and spell bound kind of card. I love the combination of peacock feathers and blueprint sketch together. I think it really brings this whole card together. So as you can see, it is a very shiny, non-traditional Halloween card, but I think I really love this idea. And I kind of want to tweak this and play around with this once we get into 
the Christmas holiday season because I think there's a way to tweak this, not make it spooky, but like use the foil quill in this way and the colors, unusual colors in an odd combination to create something pretty cool. So anyways, look for that coming up later this year. I think that's going to do it for today's video. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up, let YouTube know that you like my video, and then hopefully YouTube will share it across YouTube land. Also, don't forget guys, hit that subscribe button down below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and get great updates every time I post a new video, or go live by clicking that bell icon. You can also get social with me over on my social media links. Those are listed down in the description below. They include Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all sorts of different places. Make sure to go check all those out and say hello. I hope everybody has a great day. And remember, guys, normal's just a setting on the dryer. Bye.